10 tips for brand new guitar players. So tip number one is buy the guitar for what you want to do. So on my other channel, I had a beginner's guitar lesson and somebody commented on there saying that I shouldn't teach electric, I should only teach acoustic to beginners. So I asked them why and they said it's easier, etc. Which I think is a load of old nonsense. So if the reason you want to play guitar is because your favorite bands are rock bands or heavy metal bands, or electric bands, why would you learn on an instrument that can't replicate that sound, is my viewpoint on it. So if you want to learn electric, just buy an electric. You don't have to start on acoustic, you can start on electric. Likewise, if you love Tracy Chapman and you really want to learn acoustic, buy an acoustic, why would you do the opposite? So, tip one, buy the actual instrument to replicate the sound you want to make. Tip number two is it's going to hurt, but don't worry about it, just carry on going. So when you start playing, your fingertips will get sore, your wrists might ache because you're doing things that you're not used to doing, but that happens to everybody that's ever played guitar. Nobody just played guitar and didn't suffer with that. So, it's going to happen, don't worry about it, just carry on going. You know, if your fingers are too sore to play on one day, then maybe have a rest, or don't play for as long. But they will toughen up, and they will get harder, so that the pain goes away. Now I can play for three hours and feel nothing. Um, the other thing I would say on this is, there are companies now that offer these gimmicky things, like little tips for your guitar to stop it from hurting and stuff like that. Rubbish, don't worry about any of that. Um, Jimi Hendrix didn't use it, Jimmy Page didn't use it, Steve Vai didn't use it. It's just a gimmick and a way of making money. You will get over the pain and it will go, so just get through it. Tip number three, don't give up. Is it frustrating when you start playing? Yes. Is it frustrating when you can't play the things that you want to play? Yep. Is it annoying when you keep making the same mistakes? Yep. But again, every good guitar player was once a crappy guitar player. And every crappy guitar player was once a non-guitar player. So if you fast forward your life 10 years and you practiced every day for 10 years, in 10 years you'll be amazing as long as you use proper practice techniques. Or, if you give up, in 10 years you could be thinking, wish I never gave up. So which one would you rather have? As Jim Rohn says, the pain of regret or the pain of discipline? The choice is yours. Tip number four, don't fear mistakes. So you will make mistakes, you will cock things up, you'll make mistakes in front of audiences. I've done it a hundred times. You'll make mistakes when you're recording, you'll make mistakes when you're just jamming. It happens all the time, even at high levels. So certainly don't worry about that when you're beginning. So the next tip is that there are no shortcuts. There's no pill you can swallow. There's no manual you can download into your brain. There's no course you can take for a week and then you become a master. The only way to get good is time multiplied by effort. So there's no shortcuts, it's gonna take some time. You know, you're looking at probably a year to two years until you're happy with what you can do and then go and start playing in a band, stuff like that. So it's not gonna happen overnight. You just have to work at it and stay focused and keep going. Tip number six is practice every day. Now this isn't always possible, sometimes you're on holiday, sometimes you're working away, sometimes you just gotta put the guitar down and spend time with your family, especially if you get a bit obsessed with it, like I sometimes do. Um, so, repetition builds skill, and you will also progress quicker by practicing for a short period every day than by practicing once a week for two hours because the muscle memory comes from repetition rather than just cramming. It's the same as anything really. So, 
try and practice every single day. Tip number seven, learn musical theory and reading music right from the start. A lot of guitar players, and I don't know why it's mainly guitar players, but a lot of guitar players don't really understand musical theory or they can't read music. You're better off learning it at the start so that one year down the road you've got two skills, reading music as well as just playing the guitar. Um, and it's easier to do this and build it up from the beginning then learn all your techniques and all the, what I call the lazy sort of guitar playing skills and then try and add theory in. So it's easier to learn it as you go and then it will make more sense. It will allow you to also learn your instrument quicker because the more you understand musical theory, the more you can go, oh yeah, that's there. Or, oh yeah, I can play that here in the same way rather than just trying to figure everything out by ear all the time. So next tip is to try and play with musicians as soon as you can. So I know, I know I just said it will take a year to two years in order to get to the stage where you can play in a band. That doesn't mean you can't start jamming with people sooner than that. You know, if you can find some other beginners, maybe at your local guitar shop, or put an ad up in the local guitar shop, or the local rehearsal studios to say, looking for some beginners to jam with. Because playing with other musicians will, will widen your musical vocabulary, it will make you think about things in a different way, it will make you think about how the instruments interact with each other so that you're not just thinking about what you're doing, you're also thinking about what the other guys in the band or in the jam are doing. So playing with other people will make your ability and your musicality grow quicker than if you just play by yourself. Next tip is try and get rid of your technical flaws as quickly as you can. So if you are mainly learning by yourself or learning from YouTube or learning from books, etc., you will pick up the knowledge, but sometimes you won't realize that you're doing something ineffectively. So your picking um, technique may be not very effective or efficient, for example, um, or the way you finger, there, there could be something that you could improve on that. So I would recommend find somebody locally that plays the kind of stuff that you want to play and ask them to look at your technique and analyze it and try and work out the flaws so you don't need to do this every week you might have one less one lesson every couple of months just to iron out things that you're doing wrong but if you can do that it will stop you from embedding your mistakes and it will mean that long term you'll benefit because you're not having to go back and correct things that you've been doing for two years or five years rather than just fixing them as soon as you start doing them. And last, make sure you have a bit of fun. So playing the guitar is supposed to be fun, which is why you did it. If you're just spending all your time focusing on improving, but you're not enjoying yourself, then step away from that and try and do something different. Whether that is jamming or playing along to backing tracks or learning a new technique or doing something completely different. So make it fun and I will see you soon. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe, like the video and click the little bell to allow notifications so you get told every time I release a new video. See you later.